Welcome back, money. <laughs> Welcome back to my future rich friends in the making. If you are new here, hit that subscription button below and turn on the notification bell so you get a every single time I upload a video. And if you are not joined in on the holiday money saving challenge, I it would behoove you, you know, to hit that link below and join the over 200 people who are saving $500 to cash fund their holiday season because ain't no credit card debt coming with us to January 2021. We're leaving all that negativity in 2020 where it, you know, belongs. So we're gonna be going over 15 side hustles that you could be doing during this holiday season in order to add a little bit more money to that bank account to make sure that you and your holidays do not go into debt because why, why, why do debt, you know? So the 15 side hustles, some of them I've mentioned before, some of them I have it. I just wanna make sure they're all in one place so you have access. I will try to link as many of them below. The first thing, and I've been talking about this for probably two years now, and if you're not doing it, it's, it's definitely something you, you wanna think about doing, and that is pet sitting or human sitting. And I will, that'll be one and two, and I'll link both below. So I use Rover as a method to, I haven't pet sit or dog walked in a while, but I used to use Rover in order to supplement some money into my life. And I love animals, specifically dogs. So Rover gives you access to pet sit, you know, board a dog as well as dog sit. Now, Sitter City gives you the opportunity to babysit humans. <laughs> All right, so not just pet sitting. Yes, but you can absolutely human sit. People still need babysitters, especially now with like everything being remote. Some people really just need a little break from their kids, All right? So that's definitely an option that you wanna take. The next side hustle that you could do completely remotely is being a virtual assistant. I will link the different options and list the different options right here that I've used to virtual assist before. And I was making upwards of 300 to $350 a month being a virtual assistant. It can get a little crazy if you're not really organized. So if you know you're not really organized or you don't really have the time to help someone else who's like super busy or not as organized themselves, then virtual assisting might not be for you. The third side hustle is freelancing and again, there go all the options for you for freelance options. So you can freelance pretty much any talent or skill that you have. Think outside of the box, especially during the holiday season. You can really freelance pretty much yeah, anything legal. You could freelance and somebody will pay you for your talents and for your gifts. The fourth option is selling stock photos. First of all, the iPhone 12 costs about $1,400. You better use it to its full, you know, capacity. So if you know that photography is really your thing, you don't have to go out and spend thousands and thousands of dollars on, you know, really like up to date, amazing photography skills. You can use a phone and take amazing, beautiful shots. If you have the right eye, you can do that and sell stock photos on all these different websites on all these different websites actually sell the same photo um just be careful with like how you license it because if you use one photo in one place they might not allow you to use that photo in another place so definitely read make sure you know you're contracting your images correctly but selling stock photos is an excellent way to use a skill and really you know make some coin off of it all right the next side hustle is cleaning homes i know people you're like people are at home why do they need someone to clean their home um because laziness is a real thing and procrastination is a real thing. And yes, I'm working from home and I fully 100% want to pay someone to clean my house because <laughs> I hate doing it. And according to housekeeper.com, there are 73,000 house cleaning gigs out there available for people like you who are looking for extra money to go. And you know, if you have a really good attention to detail or you could clean up a house like nobody's business, then charge people for it because we're cleaning our houses for free, right? So. If you're good at it, you might as well make some money at it, honestly. If you are out and about during this pandemic, which I'm not judging, but I might be judging a little. All right, but if you're out and about anyway doing your semi-regular life, being a mystery shopper is absolutely something you wanna consider because you're already out there doing it and you can pretty much rate different stores, rate different restaurants that you might experience or go to, you know, visit, whatever and you're getting paid to do so and you can give your opinion and actually make some sort of difference with how that establishment treats its customers or things that they offer or things that they're selling. So it's a twofer. It's just during the pandemic, 
I'm nervous in suggesting it, so proceed with caution. User testing is always one of my favorite things or one of my favorite ways to make money between user testing and focus groups. So that's going to be number whatever and whatever I'm up to at this point, right? So user testing just lets you experience, you know, different websites, different products, different programs before they hit the market and, and interact with the majority of the consumer. You get to see them, you get to use it first and, you know, tell your voice, share your voice and your experience. And they make adjustments based off of your opinion, which I love because I don't want to have a difficult time using anything. And if I am having a difficult time, I'm going to let the person, you know, the company know. Focus groups are a little bit different. And I don't know if focus groups have shifted 100% into virtual just yet because some things require like physical, the physicality of the space. But I'm sure they're making their way and adjusting into a more virtual world as well. So with focus groups, you make about, depending on the focus group, I've made 150 bucks, 200 bucks, and two or three hours sitting there telling your opinion, tasting something, experiencing something, and you just share your opinion and your opinion counts in order to, you know, make the product or make the experience better. Another side hustle, these next two side hustles are more so, I'm already doing this, so it's, I guess it's kind of, you know, gonna work. So if you are trying to lose weight or you're interested in losing weight, Health Wage and other sites and websites, I'll put them right here, they pay you to lose weight. And I know you're thinking, holiday season, eh, I want to eat and do what I want to do. That's fine. You could just put it on the back burner whenever you're in your weight loss journey or you want to, you know, jump into it. These sites, these places are paying people to lose weight wait the next thing is cashback opportunities if you're spending money already if you're shopping and doing your thing you might as well make money back so places like Raku 10 aka ebates dash drop ibotta all those things you might as well use whatever percentage that they're giving back because i don't know about you but when i spend 200 dollars and i'm able to get like 10 15 dollars back i'm like okay not that bad I should probably just not spend the $200. But if I'm gonna do it anyway, I might as well get some money back. These next two are related, so I'm gonna do them back to back. And then there's transcription and proofreading. Now, I am a terrible transcriber. I don't know why. I've tried it so many times, but I can never just get into it. Transcription is essentially you are turning people's words right into words that people can read. So think about closed caption, think about all those things, right? That is what transcribers do and they can they get paid so well. It's just my focus and my attention to detail, I guess is not spot on because I could never get it right. But transcription is really great. Also proofreading, copywriting, people are writing books, people are writing all these things that people need editors. And if you can proofread something, especially really quickly and especially really well, then you will be making a lot of money. So my English teachers, things like that, proofreading, copywriting, transcribing, top three, I know my nails messed up, top three ways to make money, especially for English teachers. Another two for another two for one deal is delivering food and delivering pretty much anything else. So the delivery of food, I'm going to just, you know, the Uber Eats, the Poshmarks, the Seamless, the Grubhub, DoorDash, all of that. They're hiring, obviously, and they're having an influx because people either don't want to cook or have family over, or just gatherings, which socially distant gatherings, virtual gatherings, I don't know. But they're definitely looking for people to drive and deliver people's meals from one place to the next. And then when you want to deliver just about anything else, right, you can get onto Instacart, which is, you know, for groceries, but you can also, Postmates can deliver pretty much anything. I Postmate, Postmated some um, cough syrup to myself one time because I didn't want to walk to write in, which was completely in a walkable distance. Anyway, yes. So Postmates, all those things are hiring. And if you know you've got a car and you're like, eh, I should just, you know, make a couple extra bucks, these are really great options for you to take. Of course, of course, I have to jump on and say, you can sell your things, of course. I'm just gonna list all the options here. You have things like Poshmark, Declutter, um, Let Go, Offer Up, Facebook Market, Craigslist, all those things. Sell your things, it's not new. I don't have to slow down and tell you that that's a really easy, quick way to, you know, clean out your house, get rid of old things, winter cleaning, spring cleaning in, in the winter, whatever, and make some extra money. I'm not gonna waste your time to talk too much more on this. What I will waste your time talking about is, well, not waste your time, being an online mock juror. I kind of love this side hustle. I haven't really heard it mentioned anywhere else. 
five to sixty dollars an hour to be an online mock juror and i think it's fantastic i actually wish jury duty would be virtual forever um <laughs> But it's my civic duty, and if I vote, I must be able to serve jury duty as well. Anyway, but being an online mock juror is paying really well, and you get to kind of really learn the judicial system if you're not too familiar with it. It doesn't really require much experience. You can just jump on and do it, and I love that. I really do. Of course, you can get paid to teach or tutor online, which could be completely virtual and remote. You can use these options that I've mentioned before. Um, as an actual teacher, sometimes I'm just like, ah, should I recommend these? But sometimes you don't really need experience, you don't really need a degree, um, and you can still, you can still teach, teach online, and make some money for the holiday season. And the last two, there are gonna be two first, are to sell handmade or handcrafted items or sell printables. So this is for my more artsy, independent artist type of people, things like Redbubble, Etsy, um, Shopify, they allow you to, you know, create your crafts, create, especially during the holidays, people always want to buy like cute little handmade tchotchkes for their friends and family. So if you make things, you know, by hand or they're crafted with love, you can definitely sell them, especially during the holiday season or principles. If you're an artist, you can get on there and just start selling your prints. I love, I love a really good print and I'm in the market for a really good print right now. So, you know, point me in the right direction. But these, I think I got through 15. It could be more, it could be less. Bear with me. Y'all know how I do anyway. All right, so these side hustles for the holiday season in order to help you make some money are bank and join the holiday saving challenge because I'm trying to help you save even more than that. All right, y'all, it's been a pleasure and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.